Why did they? Go and hang out with Miss Radiant. If you're a Volkswagen enthusiast, part of the Volkswagen community here in here in North uh, Alabama, you need to know about Miss Radiant. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him. Really great guy. Very influential. Very helpful. He's got anything you need. He's a certified EV dealer. Uh, he ships worldwide. Miss Radiant has been really good to Stephen and I. He, he's been a huge contributor in this project, Red 67. Uh, so we're going to go give thanks to Mr. Ed, pay tribute to him, and uh, just enjoy the, enjoy the day hanging out at Ed's Barn Car Park. All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, this edition of Mr. Ed's Foreign Car Parts Open House. This is the fall show. Uh, we're all here at Mr. Ed's shop. Uh, Stephen and I cruised up this morning. Quite a few cars coming in. Uh, quite a few cars already here. Some cars we ain't never seen before. So. Nothing wrong with a little Volkswagen history. And I had to do a little Volkswagen tree. This is just my daily. It ain't nothing. That's a good looking ride, though. It really is. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm proud to see it here. Uh, it's, it's just my daily driver. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a beautiful daily, daily driver. It is. It is. Really nice. That is great. Glad y'all showed up. He's got, hey, he's got hot dogs ready when y'all get ready. The chef up there's got the hot dogs ready. Hey, if I ain't got you to shake your hand, you know. Hey, 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 Forty-four kit cars, special delivery. Forty-four. I want to get an early model bus mirrors. I don't know where I can do that. That's your best show winner from Tannehill a couple of weeks back.
high top bus here. Check it out. Target camp. Like yeah, a twelve. Like a twelve. Yeah. That's what it looked like when I started. Well, it's you done it. You done it to be proud. And the thing about it, this is what I looked like when I started. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, it's don't talk. I, I ain't even gonna show you a picture of me. I was young. It's been a long time ago, but I was young. Well, been, been none, none of us come in this world old. No, the, no, no. And we're not we're not going out of here. I already got my ticket paid for to go out. Yes, sir. I got my ticket paid for to go out. Yes, sir. That's the important part, isn't it? Yes, it, it is. is. Know where yeah. you're going. You better yeah. have you better have that ticket. You better have it ready when you get when you're gone, cause if you ain't your you're in you ain't trouble. You ain't got time when he calls. No, no, sure hadn't. You don't know when he's calling. No. No, this lady right here. Oh. Ain't he got a nice one? She uh she left us back in April. But she stayed with you a while. I know. I lost mine in 09, but I got a good one now. Good. What your model you got here? 66. It's beautiful. Yes. Thank you. All right. This one is really odd, too. Uh, according to what they tell me, and I'm not an expert on this, but according to the little placard, that tells you a whole bunch about these things. Volkswagen put numbers on there that corresponds with various things. Yes, sir. It was ordered by a dealership in Oregon, somebody in Oregon ordered it. Right. And uh, <clears throat> it came here this color. It's special ordered. It don't have a white top. Like the rest of them, it came here one color and and normally this dove blue and that is dove blue too uh was uh reserved for their single cabs and double cabs and commercial vehicles not uh this is a <coughs> uh this is the only one that i've ever seen i've seen pictures of another one or two they said it came this color but uh this is the only one i've ever seen and I've uh, I've been to lots of shows. Yes, sir. Well, it's a beautiful ride. Well, that coupe, well, that's the drawing the edge to him for a reason by the car. Oh. So he's giving away four gifts to the night to keep that for those that are all going to fall in. Just take a second to show you some of Mr. Ed's inventory. If if he makes it, he's got it here on the lawn. I'm a big fan of these empty valve covers, these bolt-on valve covers. They look really cool. They work really cool. Uh, we've been running those for years on our engines. Really, really good. And it, these uh, cool tins, I'm a big fan of them. I've used them on a lot of engines. Had good results with them. But as you see, he's got it. He, he's got everything you could possibly need. He ships worldwide daily. His, his knowledge and his database is incredible. A lot of off-road stuff, a lot of restoration parts. Today's all about Mr. Ed. Today's, today's our day to 
show coach Mr. Ed and tell him thank you. Stephen was in here this past week. Uh, made a pretty good deposit for some parts for Red 67. Yes, sir. Riverbank Customs. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if y'all can hear that in the video. We pulled up in the red light, and the gentleman bragging on, on on how nice Red 67 looks. And you get that a lot. But the thing he said was that brings back a lot of memories. And it does. These Volkswagens bring back a lot of memories. How many people? Learn to drive for the first time, especially if you grew up in the 70s and 80s. How many people learn to drive in a straight ship Volkswagen? I know me and my brother Keith, that's how we learned. Ran and ran in the field. When he was, he was 14, 15 years old, me and him and David Street, we went around and around out there in the field beside Mom and Daddy's house in the old Baja. We just out there having fun, but we was learning how to drive. And then when my time come along, of course, I was a little bit more sneakier. I got out on the road, but we're not going to talk about that. You just people learn to drive in these old Volkswagens. Yeah. Never fails. Everybody's got a Volkswagen story. Too. Everybody, every, everybody, everywhere you go, everybody's got a Volkswagen story. I'm working on a video now. It's been kind of something 
since I started the Riverbank Customs YouTube channel, uh, one of the videos I wanted to really put a lot of time and effort in was Riverbank Customs the early years. And it's a lot about building dune buggies and Bajas. It's a lot about time with my daddy and just how I learned and a lot of the friendships and relationships that I've built. Even though we were building off-road cars, it's still the same mechanics. You're raising the suspension. Back in the day, you're raising the suspension where now we're lowering the suspension. But it's still the same. Everybody says, what size engine are you going to build? Well, the best engine I ever had was a 1671 that Daddy built. Then later on, I built a, I built a 2332 and couldn't keep it together. And it was strong. It, it pinned you in the seat, but I couldn't keep it together. Blowed it up twice. The more horsepower you put into something, you always got to increase that, that weak link. So, the older I get, the more I learn, keep it simple. I don't care what size engine you got. I don't care how fast you run. I don't care how fast, how, how many burnouts you do. You're not going to have more fun than we're having right now headed down the highway.